Hello and welcome back to the Potential Difference uh, Research Lab. Uh, I'm starting a new uh, video series and uh, this uh, video series entails the uh, scientific discoveries that have been made as a result of the Regenex generator uh, research from 2007 to uh, 2020. So we're going to uh, we're going to be looking at uh, the new laws of physics as a result of PDI research, um, which began shortly after 9/11, um, reached its uh, main initial scientific discovery in 2007 and then um, has evolved uh, to the uh, level at which uh, technologies have now been introduced and patented and um, and now we're we are introducing the new laws of physics that uh, that pertain to the technologies that have come out of uh, our research. So the first law of physics that we're going to be looking at is Lenz's law. And our research uh, corrects Lenz's law, how the physics community basically has gotten everything wrong with regards to electricity and magnetism and its, its inclusion under Newtonian mechanics. Um, basically for close to the past 200 years. Why the global physics community's explanation or claim that negative work can be performed by a generator without energy. Why these claims are wrong. Introduction to Heinz's law of induction, how Lenz's law can be re uh, reversed, how Heinz's law, um, how Lenz's law can be reversed, and how the law of conservation of energy never applied in electricity and magnetism. Uh, the law of conservation of energy never applied, Newton's third law never applied and so on and so on. Correction of the law of conservation of energy, how the physics community is, uses the law of conservation of energy in order to violate the law of conservation of energy. Introduction to the law of creation of energy, um, <clears throat> how energy is created in every generator, transformer, and motor on the planet, basically right now. Introduction, introduction to the law of destruction of energy, how energy is destroyed, uh, correction of Newton's third law, as it applies to electromechanics. Newton's third law applies perfectly well in a purely Newtonian mechanics model, but New, uh, Newton's third law does not apply in uh, electricity and magnetism. Introduction to Heinz's fourth law of motion, how positive work can be performed at infinite efficiency by electromagnetic field energy that is created and delayed in the time domain. So a little uh, uh, preface summary. Uh, in 2007 in Almond, Ontario, Canada, researcher, inventor Thane Hines, that's myself, discovered that induced electromagnetic fields which are created around a current bearing uh, inductor solenoid uh, the magnetic field is created around the solenoid, can be used to perform positive work, violating Lenz's law, Newton's third law, and the law of conservation.
conservation of energy in the process. The original, uh, in the original prototypes were valid, performance validated at uh, auto, uh, MIT, Ottawa U. The backing theory for the innovations was developed in the power lab at Ottawa U from 2008 to uh, 2010.5. The innovation, the prototypes were validated at Concordia University, and McMaster University, University of Waterloo, and, and several others. Um, the, the, um, the research uh, basically proves that these induced electromagnetic fields would later be identified as a form of energy that is created and by harnessing these electromagnetic field energies in the US patented Regenx generator, Vitoroid transformer and Regenx motor, all of these machines uh, can be made to operate at infinite efficiency and that energy can be created. In uh, 2007 we introduced our initial work to Dr. Stanley Townsend of uh, York University and he said uh, Thane, your press release was most interesting to me as a physicist and an engineer the level of technical detail was adequate, adequate to tell me that you have probably made a very significant advance in applied physics and in safely and successfully handling a new source of electric power. Uh, Dr. Stanley, PhD, um, York University, former managing editor of the Canadian Journal of Physics. So we're going to jump right in now. And the first basic uh, order of business is to uh, correctly explain Lenz's law because the explanation that's, that the current physics books give that you can read on Wikipedia is not, it's not complete and it's not adequate by any means. Okay, so Lenz's law is named after physicist Emil Lenz who formulated in 1834, Lenz's law states that the direction of the current induced in a conductor by a changing magnetic field is such that the magnetic field created by the induced current opposes the initial changing magnetic field. Lenz's law is essentially Newton's third law for electric machines that for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction so basically what that means is when you have a a coil and a magnet approaches the coil current will flow in the coil and a magnetic field will be produced around the coil that will oppose the approaching magnet when the magnet begins to move away the current changes direction, the magnetic field polarity changes direction, and the magnetic field produced around the coil opposes the, the magnet moving away. Okay, the key word is opposes. What does oppose really mean? Oppose means to actively resist. Actively resist means to work against performing negative work, reducing the kinetic energy of the approaching magnet and reducing the kinetic energy of the magnet that's moving away. In an electric generator, this means that a counter electromagnetic torque is produced. So uh, there are basically uh, there is uh, active resistance to 
there's active resistance and then there's passive resistance. So if I push uh, an object across the floor, there's the floor will uh, create friction between the object and the floor and that is essentially passive resistance. If you want uh, active resistance, active resistance means that there would be somebody on the other side of the object applying a force resisting the pushing action that I would be applying on that object. So in order to have active resistance you need um, you need you need a source of energy that performs a certain amount of work. So let's begin to rewrite Lenz's law focusing on this word here, opposes. So when we rewrite Lenz's law correctly, the, the direction of the current induced in a conductor by a changing magnetic field is such that the magnetic field created by the induced current performs negative work reducing the kinetic energy of the initial changing magnetic field and the negative work is produced performed by a counter electromagnetic torque which is produced around the coil so now if we include the work energy principle in Lenz's law the work energy principle basically states that the change in kinetic energy of an object, the, 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 re, the change in the kinetic energy, the reduction in the speed of the approaching magnet, the reduction in the speed of the approaching magnet, the change in kinetic energy of an object or system, system is equal to the net work performed on that object or system and energy is the currency required to perform work in any direction. So an increase in the kinetic energy of a system is acceleration and it's positive work performed by an energy source. A decrease in the kinetic energy of a system is deceleration and it's negative work performed. And the equation is uh, basically the final kinetic energy minus the original kinetic energy is the network performed. So the question is where does the energy come from in order to perform the negative work creating a counter electromagnetic torque which is required to actively resist the initial changing magnetic field. In order to reduce the kinetic energy of the changing magnetic field, in order to satisfy Lenz's law without violating the work energy principle. So, um, the, 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 the global scientific community, the physics community, wants you to believe that the um, the negative work that's performed in an electric generator is able to be performed without energy and that electric generators have the ability to violate the work energy principle and they do not. So uh, the global uh, physics community, th their answer is energy is not required to perform negative work nor is it required to create a counter electromagnetic torque Negative work can be performed by an electric generator without energy and all electric generators are able to violate the work energy principle um, and they're also able to violate the law of conservation of energy, energy in equals energy out. And uh, energy cannot be created but work can be performed without energy. So the global scientific community is, wants you to believe that energy can't be created, but that work, uh, negative work, can be performed without energy, which is impossible. So the correct answer is, 
the energy required to actively oppose, and here we are, actively oppose, perform negative work, and reduce the kinetic energy of the changing magnetic field that is approaching the coil and also when it's moving away, is electromagnetic field energy that is created. The magnetic field that is created around a current bearing wire that actively resists or opposes or reduces the kinetic energy of the, of the approaching magnetic field is a form of energy because it performs work. It performs work in both directions. So, if we rewrite Lenz's Law correctly, the direction of the current induced in a conductor by a changing magnetic field is such that the created electromagnetic field energy performs negative work and actively opposes the initial changing magnetic field, reducing its kinetic energy, creating a counter electromagnetic torque in the process. So, the first step in the reevaluation of the current laws of physics, number one, is to realize that negative work cannot be performed in an electric generator without energy. I'll explain in the next video where the scientific community, how they came about coming to this incorrect conclusion and that energy can be created. It must be created in a, for uh, generator armature re reaction to exist in the first place. Energy must be created for uh, the, inu the, in the induced current to, to, or the magnetic field created by the induced current in order to oppose the changing magnetic field. All right, that's the end of uh, video number one. And uh, what's coming up next is um, I'll be explaining where the Newtonian mechanics idea came from and how the electromechanics view, uh, how the Newtonian mechanics explanation and the electromechanics explanation, how they don't work. Okay, stay tuned.